So I'm only telling you that stuff because because there's a bliss in that. So the secret is, there's a secret in all this. That learning to live in the desireless state, in other words, I'm n I never, no longer look, seek for pleasure. I no longer have ex expect something good to happen or, or, or pleasurable to happen. Uh, so I'm not seeking, I'm not seeking anything. It's called the desireless state. So in other words, whatever it is that I'm doing right now, I'm perfectly content. It doesn't mean that I don't have, I don't make plans. That's bullshit. I don't make plans or I'm not active in the world and I have goals. That's, that's all fine. But on a moment to moment basis, what we're conditioned, everything we see, we're bombarded a million times a day to understand that pleasure is going shopping. What an ugly word. We're, called, we're all called consumers. What an ugly, hard word. In other words, we're all conditioned to believe in every aspect of our lives that consumption is pleasure. That what we see and what we buy, go shopping, is, is what will bring us happiness. That next thing, that next luxury, that next delicious food, that next technology, that whatever it is, society has conditioned us through, through the media, you're conditioned completely to believe that happiness is the next acquisition or the next pleasurable experience. So you're always looking towards that, that tomorrow, that future. You're looking for that happiness with that next object, that next thing. So it's all object oriented and external, external in the material world. It's so true. It's such a secret. Okay. So you're all, we're, you're all, everyone is, 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 is conditioned, is brainwashed to, to consider that, to believe that. Even in the undeveloped countries now, they see what's going on with the internet. They see what the Americans have and people in Europe have what luxury we have in excess. We have anything we want, anything we want to eat, anything we want to do, any pleasure, only sensible pleasure. They want that too. So the whole world is becoming this way and the world can't sustain that type of life. So, but the point is the secret I'm making is that happiness, true contentment and security and peace of mind and peacefulness and pleasure comes from not seeking pleasure. It comes from the denial of that pleasure impulse, that pleasure principle. Learning to to abnegate that need, to get rid of entirely that functioning of the psyche, that that lie that it's the next thing we can consume or purchase that will be ha make us happy. Bombarded by images when you go on the internet, anywhere, TV. Anywhere around you, this whatever it is, glamour, fashion, uh, technology, clothing, uh, uh, foods, uh, things to make your life easier, conveniences, all these things, it's all designed to, to keep us captive in that frame of mind, that desire, that desire state. And it's the desire state that is suffering. And suffering is desire. It's feeling discontent with what is right now, what I am, what I am right now, the core of me. Feeling discontent with that and desire. So it's the desireless state that we, it's only the desireless state that we choose, that we seek for. We all seek for that. Because in the desireless state, then there's no suffering. There's no feeling of lack. So you're seeking this desireless state in each new acquisition, each new object or experience or sensual experience. But it's only temporary. You may achieve it. Okay, now I have the new car or now I have the new computer or the thing that I wanted, whatever I got, or I fucked that chick or I got my boyfriend or whatever. I got rich, I got the job, I got, I got my degree. And yeah, okay, so now absence of desire. Okay, it feels good for a while, but then there's always something else. It's always something else. There's no object or thing or experience in the world that can eliminate that des desirous state, which is suffering, which is lack of content with what is. So the whole point of this new condition, this new paradigm, this new architecture of 
cognitive architecture that we do through consciousness is learn to be, learn to recognize when we're desiring those things. Whatever it is, any luxury, any food, whatever. And sit with it for a while and then postpone that. It doesn't say if I want to watch a movie or go to the movies, I can't. No, go, but recognize it for what it is. A need for stimulation to distract myself from my boredom or discontent. And then after a while, after you do that, you do that, and you sit with yourself, whatever you're doing, you learn slowly, it's a very difficult struggle, I won't deny it, uh, to just be content with what's, what's within, what's within the self, what's happening right now. And look for healthy things to do, taking a walk in solitude, uh, studying some uh, uh, beneficial material, listening to a talk. Fill your, thing, fill your time with things that give you knowledge, that create a discipline within the mind, help you think about positive things that, not positive things, but things that mm, will lead you in the right direction. So exercise, good companionship, meaningful conversation, but mostly just learning to sit and be with yourself wherever you are without seeking for some stimulation. That's the hardest thing you'll ever do. But once you do that, and you achieve the desireless state, you'll find a bliss that's beyond your wildest experience, your wildest dreams. It's a whole new vista, a whole new world opens up for you. Because whatever it is, you're at peace and deep contentment. And I'm just tasting this, the flavor of this. It's beautiful. Whatever it is, you're peaceful and calm and confident. You feel as if you need nothing. There's nothing that anyone or anything can, can give you that will improve you because you have that excellence within you.